But now T is a complex. So chain complex, how should I write this in English? Chain of A, chain complex in A. Um, and, and we assume, we, we assume, I, I like to call this the end of cyclic. Cyclic. So, so it should mean that that the morphism is the homotopy category of P to itself. Okay. Uh, are the same uh, uh, as in the as in the derived category. Should be an iso not a localization, should be an isomorphism. Mm -hmm. Morphism uh, in the homotopy and the derived category. So, so for example, it could be it could be a, a it could be an, um, a chain complex of injective objects bounded by above by by below, or it could be a, a chain complex of projective objects bounded from the above, or it could be uh, for anything a lot more possibilities. But whatever. If you, have, if you have sort of this, this uh, thing, then we have a very similar statement. Uh, yeah, nearly mm, we get an equivalence between, between what's generated by T uh, in the derived category, or the triangulated subcategory generated by T uh, in the derived category. And this, um, this is now the fifth inside of A. And this is equivalent uh, to, to what's, uh, what's uh, generated in the derived category of the endomorphism ring of E. And I should say, I should say that. Uh, uh, so the E should be the endomorphism of the complex T now, and, and this is the DG array. It's just a sort of, yes, the endomorphism complex. Uh, and this is equivalent to, to what is generated uh, by E as a triangulated subcategory. Um, of of uh, sort of the, 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 the three objects of the of the uh, derived category of this differential graded algebra. So, yes. Okay, and and the factor is, is still the same, right? We we, we just need to to take homomorphisms. Yes, but now it's a homomorphism complex from T to, to anything. And then, okay, I mean, this, this homomorphism complex makes only sense on the homotopy category. But here, this category is anyhow by, by, our, by our conditions. Uh, let me maybe take a different color to, to sketch the proof. I mean, I mean, I mean this, is, this is anyhow equivalent to the subcategory generated the homotopy category by, by T because uh, T has the same homomorphism. Uh, they decide, so, yeah, it's the same homomorphism here and there. Here, the functor is really well defined. And it's again by Debussard, right? Because the object T goes to the object E, and the endomorphisms of E as a, as a right E module are E uh, acting from the left. And this is the same as the endomorphisms of E. So it's sort of all quite uh, a subtle. And, and uh, the next thing, uh, sort of a special case, just for, for the fun of it, is if you want to, to tilt with a uh, tilting object. This is sort of what break out. Uh, oh, wow, I no, I'm already very bad. I mean, 
but maybe uh, I guess this I should I should should say that it's due to Keller of the river. And, and there one one special thing we could we could we could sort of assume it would be a special case. This is why it's called tilting. Yeah, special case would be that in fact T is not a complex but a, just an object in A. Let's call this object. Let's say K in A is tilting, which would mean that it has uh, that it has no. Um, higher self exceptions. So, so X, K, I, K, zero, or so. And then we could say for T, uh, just this complex with K sitting between zero and nobody else. Uh, and then we would get. Uh, we would get that the triangulated category generated by this object K, so the complex sitting just in one degree, and the size of the category K is equivalent. Now, now this differential a graded ring uh, just sits in one degree, so, so we would have just a um, 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 derived category of modules over this ring D. D is just the endomorphism ring K. And inside, we should take the, the triangulated subcategory. Okay, so this is this is sort of what's usually called token. Okay, and and sort of the, the, the now there are sort of a, an even sort of a more elaborate version of this. And this is, I think, what was what, what, what called weight hunter uh, ball. So let's, let's now assume. Let's now assume that we have even a tilting, that we have a tilting complex, not a tilting. It's an object, but it's still being complex. So what could this be? Um, well, so we have again uh, uh, an ideal category. Yeah. The complex in A. And this we call it tilting complex. So then, if well, first of all, it should be endocyclic. So, projective or projective or whatever, yeah. So, this was this condition uh, here. And the second condition should be that there are no. Uh, uh, homomorphisms, well, in hot or in DR, it's just in some. These homomorphisms here is just zero if n is not zero. Okay, so this is this. similar to what, what we asked of a tilting object that it has no high extension. Uh, now it's, we ask it for the whole complex. And and sort of our main uh, our main main working horse. Let me write it on a on a on the blackboard behind me. Uh, working horse for for the talk and and also in fact for for what Jens explained was was uh, that. That if we have so we have a category and the things complex and then we can we can take 
the additive category generated by an hour complex. So, so just as complex and sums of this complex are sums. Uh, and this is an additive subcategory of the derived category of A. And we take, take um, we take a homomorphic category, bounded homomorphic. Uh, then this uh, it's fully faithful, so this means a fully faithful. <coughs> Inside the derivative group. And now you see uh, this is sort of a, a slightly a, a funny business. So let me let me let me try to explain uh, for some time how this how this functor um, how how this is uh, possible. And in fact, in fact, uh, I mean the object T of the E. But here T, huh. Well, the, well, this this these these guys are objects. Um, these guys are objects of the derived category array. And now you have complexes of objects of the derived category, right? So I'm um, just zero or something. Yeah. So so let let me let me call this the the double complex factor, and and explain that, that this is sort of a pivot, or I don't know. Well, for me, it's, so this should be the double complex factor. Maybe because. Uh, because it's important, and because uh, then I, I need not say so much about it. Anyhow, I, I should I should explain a bit about about this. Yeah. Um, I mean, I mean, okay. I mean, I mean, I mean, what's 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 an object uh, in here? Yeah. What is an object in here? How? How, how could this roughly work? I mean, I mean, an object in here, well, it would be a complex state. Here we have t to the direct sum n r, and then goes on. Here we have t to the direct sum n s, and then come here. Yeah, this this uh, this is now an object in here, and now. Mm. I mean, uh, now, now let, let me let me try to give sort of uh, first, 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 not, not a proof of, of, of such a functor exists, but but just a description, um, just a description of how it works. So, what we should do with such a complex, we we should uh, form the big direct sum. Well, let me let me let me maybe first. Now say what we should do if we just have a two-term complex. Okay, we just have two-term complex. Well, we just take a copy. Yeah, this is all we should do if we have a two-term complex. But now, but now uh, things are worse. We have we have we have a, a long complex. And so, what what should we do with? It? Well, um, we should take the direct sum of these entries. Uh, say, n i. And we shift them, I think, by minus i, but I have to look whether I did it all right. It seems I did it all right. Yeah. So we take this this uh, this big direct sum. And see, see, I I, I imagine it say so so I, I would I would say say have have a degree zero, I would have. Here my complex T, here's T0, T1, 2, uh, and here this, this is to the power N0, and so on. This is complex, and this is the next complex, T0 to the power N1, and so on. Yeah. 
one to the power one. The, this kind of switch, and then and then so we have differentials here because these are complex. Yeah, and and we also um, because because I mean we have we have these differentials. Yeah, yeah. I don't know the I don't know them. Maybe so. So these differentials uh, will give us maps like this. Uh, and we, I mean, I mean, we can, we can, we can represent everybody. I mean, I mean, we can represent everybody in the whole because by 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 assumption, the homomorphism is derived from the right, homomorphism can be the same. So you can realize all these things. Uh, let let me write in some color uh, that that you could take the homomorphism. It doesn't matter. And and so then we have we have sort of maps like this. But now the problem is uh, why 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 we can't just take uh, some uh, some some double complex or something, yeah, and sort of the sum of these differentials. That mm, I mean I mean it's 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 absolutely not clear that, that these differentials here. Uh, uh, if if I, I compose two of those. This will be homotopic to zero, but it will not be zero on the lots. And so, what what we have to do is sort of make a new differential on this thing, with both on the diagonal is is is, is these uh, these uh, ordinary differentials, I have, you know, uh, and and with some sign if I if I recall correctly, but this is not so important. Uh, and and then on the on the uh, on the on the next. Uh, on the next diagonal, I should take representatives of these maps B. So here, take representatives. And then I should, uh, in an arbitrary way, sort of fill this other triangular matrix so that I get a differential. And then it's not clear that this is possible, but this is sort of uh, 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 part of the proof. Uh, of, of 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 this of, of this uh, theorem, if you if you um, uh, want to look at it, yeah, this is at least how I get. I try to figure out a lot how this how because it's changed. I mean, I mean now uh, now maybe I I don't explain any more about this, and I think um, I think. Uh, uh, Jens knows probably that this is also the weight uh, complex or something. Ah, and now I, I I I didn't tell you, and and now now I've definitely to start telling you that that um, at least what I will tell from now on um, is joint work with with um, Matthias Gay. And can I ask you something? Yes, uh, Jens is talking. <laughs> Uh -huh. Well, I, I, I have sort of here the, the, the good situation that I I am in a situation where the functor um, um, is negligible with that. So I hope I'm on the safe side. But now I'm, I, I admit that I'm, I'm slightly worried because I thought I could write it down off on the if this is only zero and smaller to zero, so some condition or bigger, I, 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 I have to look at it, but not at the back. Okay. Is it clear that the function is fully faithful once you know it exists? Yes, in a way. In a, in, a, in a way, it is sort of by, by, by DB size because it, it will be fully faithful on sort of homomorphisms from here on, here to homomorphisms here. And, and then because everything is triangulated in a in in triangulated way. So. But I mean, I mean, the real, I mean, the real proof uh, it doesn't, it doesn't go with this. I mean, the real proof, I mean, I, I can eventually, 
not all complicated, but, but I should go on. Yeah. So is it possible then the state of double complex transport really has transmission Is it still possible to live then to chain complex real chain complex from the human structure? Oh, I don't think so. Um, I, I don't think so that that you I think you I think that you really sort of need to invent additional things here to uh, and and well, I I sort of I sort of had, had, a, had a very sort of abstract way to prove this, and then, then I try to, to sort of sort it out what it really means. Uh, and and I think it's uh, I think this is what it really means. But I can pass it afterwards. Okay. And um, so so I should. Stress that this is. Uh, I'm now going to talk about joint work with Bent and with. I have to look whether he is with BT or just with B. Is this okay? Yeah. And I'm getting old. And Rachbar Wilk. And somehow German. This is what, because uh, I would have been utterly, uh, yeah. This, uh, I mean, I mean, yes. So, 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 what, what, what was the point? I mean, mm, now, now, I want to give sort of an application of this, of this thing, and. Um, what, what I got a lot of help with uh, by these uh, people, and in particular by Matthias, uh, was the following. I mean, mm, we, we could construct a six functor formalism from complex varieties uh, to uh, complex vector spaces. Uh, well, well, I mean, I mean, the six-factor formalism. Well, I, I mean, I mean, this what I don't know. Six-factor formalism. So, what was this B? I mean, I mean, to each complex variety, associate some triangulated category that's called some sort of motivic derived category X. And the category, and 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 if we have a map, uh, then we have this play of six functors, uh, uh, two going down and two going up, and. And I spent quite some time recently to try to sort of uh, uh, understand what Hörmann says, how, how all these uh, factors uh, uh, precisely play together. And I think I, I understood. But this is not for today. Um, and, and, but, but we want, uh, um, yes, and if you have such a six factor formalism, uh, we, we need some motives, right? Uh, to construct the zip. Uh, and, and that's called X underline the tensor unit. And then I get this Tate sheaf as follows. I mean, I have the sort of constant map from the, from the uh, any variety to the point. Point. And, and then I can map the point, the constant sheet on the point will map to, uh, well, this is, this is something I don't know so well. I mean, just I, to the uh, uh, constant sheaf. I mean, the constant sheaf, I formalism, right, on the, on the uh, 
the multiplicative group um, um, is to, and the constitution from the multiplicative group is just a uh, constitution from the point uh, pushed down. Well, here yeah, you want to draw the point. Sorry. Uh, and we have a canonical morphism here and the code on the, of this thing. Ah, I, I, I want to, to make now the, the constant map, sorry, I want the constant map to the, to the multiplicative, uh, from the multiplicative point, the constant sheet from the multiplicative group, map to the point, and then there's a canonical map here, and the code of this has some nice name, L maybe, it's a cage. See, I, I want to call it C minus one. And and this leads to the this leads to the uh, k of n. C of one. So this is this is in, the, in our funny derived category of a point. So it's called the theta. And there are sort of lots of formalisms. Uh, there are lots of formalisms who, who can do this uh, kind of thing. Um, but, but the essential thing for, for us was uh, to construct a formalism such that these uh, state objects don't extend among one another. So, so we, uh, we can make such a formalism. Uh, uh, I just write it, yeah. Uh, so that okay, objects don't accept. And and I mean, I mean, I mean, uh, I would, I would say this is kind of anti motive I mean. I mean, uh, uh, the motive guys, they, they, they love the extension of k. They, they these know something like special values of zeta functions, or I don't know what. And, and, and to, just, uh, to just sort of use the motivic formalism to kill them uh, is sort of anti-motivic. But um, it's, it's very useful for representation theory. And now I, I try to explain why. Um, well, I, I mean, I mean, the, the point is, mm, well, this is sort of the, the, the first, uh, uh, the first uh, paper. We, we, Wrote about it. Mm. And we will now uh, consider a reductive group and a moral subgroup. And we will consider uh, a world of simple reflections in the Y group S, E, R. So this is the world of simple reflections. And then to such a thing, you can associate the Balsamian variety, which is to start with P e mod P, e, and then you, you make a, you make balanced product, balanced product of let's say the parabolic, the minimal parabolic corresponding. First reflection here. Uh, for the parabolic R, ah, I don't have the name, name. So all the way to P S T. And this is called the Bartholomew variety corresponding to X. And here I I just I just make a bar because a balanced product and a fiber product are not the same thing. So it can be different. And, and this thing, by just multiplying it up, we have a map to the mod P. 
constant chi, but this is now some sort of motivic chi. So we take the constant chi on these spots, almost and varieties, and push them down. And this is then, in this change, motivic, uh, uh, how did I call this? E. How did I call it? And M down and motivity right category of B. Okay. And now I have to tell you just uh, quickly that that I mean uh, here I, I wrote this uh, for one object, but it could as well be a film. Yeah, yeah, follow family and and the fact is still fully faithful. The only thing we have to do now is is arrive. I mean, the tilting the tilting condition needs now to be and and the end aside condition needs now satisfied for a map from Ti to Dj. Yeah, also the map is a prime category almost. Saying and it should be no sort of high extension. Okay, uh, and now um, and now uh, the point is that that this uh, very family here uh, uh, that these uh, lower star e x x and now I shift by u n and take this by n. Uh, and this for for x uh, any world in simple reflections and n any uh, integer. This is a tilting graph. Tilting uh, in now. Okay, I mean there are problems. Uh, uh, there are problems because this is just an object in the derived category. So we should take an injective solution. And now this is a bit of a problem. I mean, I mean, is this really sheets or something? Uh, but I mean, uh, you can work around. Uh, so uh, you should sort of, you should take of this, uh, of this object, of this very complicated category, some kind of inject, uh, injective. And, and, and this, is, uh, this is one reason why the, I think this is one reason for the appendix for Thurman. And, and I mean, I mean uh, it's also one reason why the paper is long. Yeah, because, I mean, this is kind of a lie. It's not, it's not so easy. But morally, uh, morally, I think it's absolutely OK what I tell you. And so, and so then, uh, we, can, we, can use, uh, we can use this uh, general theorem just as um, just as, as um, yes, uh, this and and we get something like um, the homotopy category of. Uh, now, now all these for some reason objects. Oh, look, well, there's a question here yeah. in the chat. Yes. Uh, make the more, I was asking whether your definition is different from the one he knows, whether the i is there in the sheets. Is he missing something, or is the definition wrong, or is it different? Uh, uh, probably the definition is wrong. I should have 
take Bs below and Pi's uh, be crossed together. I, uh, they're probably adjust for a concept. I mean, I mean, it should probably be, it should probably be G mod B cross uh, E P1 cross E P2. I'm sorry. <laughs> yes. Uh, uh, yes. Okay. And so, so you you take you take these guys and you push them down, and you take uh, their shifts and twists, and you take the additive category generated by it, and 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 the homotopy category of that, and then this goes fully faithfully into this and derived category. And okay, I I was a bit short on explaining uh, why sort of um, why uh, these guys uh, form a tilting family in this sense. I mean, this is this is due to two, two effects. Uh, one is that we know that these are point by pure, uh, and then one is that we know that the take objects don't exist. This is why we were working so, had to work so much, and. And if we know both of those, we know that these guys are calculated by some scheduled sequence, which, uh, which shows that they have this certain property. Okay. And now sort of we can we can rewrite. Yeah. So so we can sort of interpret both both uh, things in a in a in a in a different way. And so this is equivalent uh, to the statement to say, well, if we take um this uh, derived uh, category, but we only take we only take those objects whose restriction on the on the Borel on the Kruber cells on the Kruber cells are constant uh, take only only those whose restriction are on the Kruber cells constant mixed take. Then this equivalent category will be equivalent. To um, well the same thing so uh, but but now I want to to write it in a different way I want to say this is the homotopy category of of the weight e weight zero objects um, in this very thing so so we will find that 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 this sort of uh, uh, Derived category. Yeah, so this is this is sort of motivic sheaves on the black variety, which are mixed state on every uh, real cell. Uh, and this is the pure object. And you know this pure object. This is this is just intersection homology complexes of Schubert varieties, or it's sort of these dot summons and sheaves up to taking direct sums, summons and so on. So, so, so it's sort of, it's sort of uh, 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 a reformulation of this, this thing above. Okay. Okay. And, and then uh, we wrote another 200 pages of, I must confess, in fact, Matthias wrote another 200 pages. <laughs> <laughs> and and uh, could do away uh, uh, the bracket. So now it's uh, B equivariant uh, uh, motives on the flat variety. And but here's still the same. Just wait, wait, uh, zero sky. And mm, and now this is this is sort of what I what I just really want to understand because what what I know uh, uh, for a long time is is that that these um, these Equivalent intersection commonality complexes on E mod B, and they are equivalent to something uh, I call special bi special bimodules. So here, this is just the polynomial rig, and here we have graded special bimodules, and now we have to take the hot So this is also an equivalent. And now it's too late to to explain. About what these special bimodules are, 
Um, but, but I mean, I mean, th this homotopical degree of special bimodules sort of was 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 a lot used. I mean, they they used it in particular to to create not invariants. I mean, Hovind of used it to to create not invariants. And and I I always want to understand what is the geometric meaning of this cutting. And and so here it is. It's it's uh, it's it's sort of or if you want, it's some strange mixed state derived category, uh, both sided the equilorian of the group G. And so in a way, um, I mean, I mean, uh, it was known that sort of the Hecker algebra sits inside here. There's these so-called Routier complexes, which have uh, great, great relations. And, and if you translate it over here, uh, this, is just the constant uh, uh, the constant sheaves on Bruya subs correspond to to Rouquier complex. So constant, there are two Rouquier complex. There's there is a, a, a Rouquier complex and it's inverse, and they correspond to the to the constant sheaf on a double coset of a simple reflection, extended by zero, extended by direct reflection. And so this way, sort of that they satisfy the rate relations is absolutely evident, which uh, uh, Rouquier wrote a long time ago, and I couldn't quite understand it. But I mean, it's, it's more complicated that way. I think it's morally very nice that way. And let me, let me uh, yes, for all these motives. I mean, when I was preparing uh, this talk, I was always thinking of Wittgenstein. Um, worüber man nicht reden kann, darüber muss man schweigen. And thank you for your attention. Yeah. No questions? <laughs> also, would you have a little bit about the special memory? It was a special no, this is, uh, I, I mean, it's basically the, the point that, that if you, if you want to know uh, the, the homology, say the, say the equivalent homology um, of this Gottsamerson variety corresponding to a word. Yeah, if you're interested in this, in fact, you you find that it will be um, S tensor X. Oh, S is not nice. Well, too bad. S tensor S. S is the well. S should be in fact the Equivalent homology on. So the polynomial ring. So it's if you want regular functions on the Lie algebra of the torus. And, and on this x of y. And so 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 these kind of tensor products uh, give you this this um, this uh, this uh, uh, cohomology. Um, and and, and now, uh, now the special bimodules. Uh, so this is a module. There's S X from the left and from the right. And every guy is which which. Now you can prove that the direct summons of such, if you crude fit decompose these guys, uh, the possible summons are parameterized by the right. In fact, in fact, the summons are the the summons are the uh, intersection homology of the. Um, well, of the of the Schubert variety. This is sort of right. These these sort of sit sit in here at the direct summit. But also the equivalent. What? The uh, equivalent. Yes. They, they sit at the summit in here, and and. And so, 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 so the problem, sort of, to understand those, is to Kroll-Schmidt decompose these guys. 
Yeah, and, and this is then this is special by So this is just everything generated by this. Yeah. But 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 sort of sort of the, the, the funny theorem here is is that 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 I mean taking taking this active and hyper cohomology is fully faithful. Yeah, so the extensions between IC complexes, you can just see them as small systems between the final.